What is up guys? Welcome to another edition of Fat Home Media. And today we have a special video for you. We're gonna go compare the two of the most popular charging stations here in Southern California, EVgo and Electrify America. On the last video, we went out and interviewed EV owners who charge their vehicle at these charging stations. Many of them complain about the variety of issues that they had. Okay, there's a bus behind me, it's f loud. This is why we don't like gas vehicles. Today we have a Fiat 500e. This car only has a 100 mile range. So it's the perfect car to go around the city, which also means that if we just drive a little bit, it's gonna go down to like 50, 60%. We're gonna charge this car at EVgo and Electrify America and compare these two and see which one is better if you're not a Tesla owner. So as always, let's get into it. All right guys, as you can see, I'm very strong. My shoulder is very big. Shut okay. up. I just went to the gym yesterday. Okay. Shut up. So here's the deal. We're gonna go to Electrify America first. So we're here at Electrify America. Most Electrify America stations they have two ports. You would think you can charge two vehicles here, but it's actually it's just for one vehicle. The reason actually is because sometimes it's broke. So when you have two, you can pick whichever one you want. Let's just say I'm a first time EV charger, which I am. I am actually doing for this for the first time. What I have done before came here is I have downloaded the app, I have input my credit card information. First of all, you plug in. This is where this is very helpful. If my car's port is on the other side, this will be much easier. Here's the port. We're gonna see if it matches. Okay, we're are running into a problem already. Hey, excuse me? Do you know if this goes in? Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't? You need the, maybe that one at the end? At the end? Oh man, and they just pulled up those ones, look kind of big. So it might not fit? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, Pierce, none of the ports actually plug in. Now, it could be that this Electrify America station just doesn't have the plug for this vehicle. Or it could be this vehicle is just fairly old. It doesn't have the compatibility. Like I said, this is the first time we're charging this vehicle, so we're gonna run into some problem. There's some learning curves involved. We see this challenge as an opportunity to learn more. Let's go to EV. Go. Okay guys, so now we're at the EVgo station here in Rosemead. We found the type of plug that works. This is a older style of plug, which makes sense given the age of this vehicle. Let's plug it in. Okay, so it's in. As you can see, this screen over here, it's totally blank. We're gonna use the app. All right guys, so we pull up the EVgo app. We're currently at the grocery outlet station. So there's two of three available. So you can go and select which charger, which plug you need. And so the one we need is J1772. We select that station, it says plug in and confirm your session, which is gonna say start charging. Okay, right now it says the charger is preparing. Synthing between charger and the vehicle. It says vehicle is charging, okay. So we're gonna charge here for about 20 minutes. Right now, the car is 59% and there's 45 miles left. We almost can be at the 20 minutes mark. So I guess we can just unplug. All right. In 20 minutes, we charge about 9%, which is not too bad. I mean, it sounds a little slow, but this is an older connector. We're gonna go find an Electrify America station and see how they do. Okay guys, right now we're in Arcadia. We found an Electrify America charging station with the J1272 plug. First of all, just like the EVgo one, we have to plug in first, okay? Okay, so we have this one available. Swipe to start charge. It says initiating. It's actually charging right now. So currently it's at 53%. Okay guys, so currently it's 63%. So honestly it's the same thing. But they both went up by minus 11%. Guys, so it was an interesting day of testing different EV chargers. Honestly, what we learned today is that the level two charging experience at every station is pretty much the same. In electric car world, this is a fairly old vehicle. It's five years old. So it only has the level two plugs. Next, we're gonna rent a newer EV, such as the Polestar. Uh, only when we do that, we'll know the difference between EVgo and Electrify America. All right, guys, this is Electrify America. Okay, so we're just told by the EV owners right here, this charger is broken. It's actually not with the charger itself. It's with some parts of the plug. So as you can see, this screen is sort of broken too. So hopefully that car has been charging there for a while, she told us. So hopefully this is very quick. And over there, there's another car waiting. After just 20 minutes of waiting, the spot finally opened up. This one is actually working. Is this the first time you're charging? Uh, yeah, wow. uh, with this car. 
Oh, you but had another I've, one before? I've used this charger before. That's like the, the slow one. Got plug in. Okay, so it's green now. And then swipe. So you can literally just swipe in and start to charge. Okay. Have you used this before? I have, but I get confused. Ah. Because I get it for free. You get it for free? No, no. And you wait for two hours. <laughs> yeah, it's annoying. So right now it's actually 27%. So we're gonna actually charge for 20 minutes. So after just 21 minutes, it actually went up all the way to 70% and cost us $17. Ah, yeah. This is very heavy and very beefy. The Electric for America is actually pretty fast. Now there was a charger that was broken over there and also a lot of people were waiting. Okay, so that's the issue. But for our vehicle, it actually, it charged pretty fast. Next, we drove our car down to 28%. So it's 28% right now. So it's the same, about the same level as uh, Electrify America. All right, guys, we're at EV Go Charging Station. There's only one charger right here. So it's a little different setup than Electrify America. As far as like the design of the station, you know, we're not gonna compare them to each other. We do feel like the Electrify America was better uh, because it was kind of, you know, they're all next to each other. This one is just kind of, you know, random parking spot the location of this plug is kind of weird I don't know if I can actually reach my vehicle I, I actually cannot reach my vehicle we just reposition our car look how much space we have right here this is like super super tiny space so we're gonna have to like Okay, let's see. Okay, it actually fits barely. Oh my God. It says plug in to get started. Can you imagine in just one city, the city of Brea, which has like 100K people, there's only one charger. And I'm the only one using it. EVgo makes it easier for you because it actually has a name. It says Paddington right here. Each charger has its own name. That's kind of cute. Start charging. It's syncing between the charger and the vehicle. So the charger is preparing. Two thousand years later. Okay, so session time down. Please unplug the connector. Waiting ten seconds. Plug in connector. Then try initiating the session. So basically, what it's saying that is that it didn't start correctly, and then you have to restart it. Okay, here we go again. Okay, so it's actually charging right now. It's at twenty-eight percent. Finally. We just came back and it looks like in 20, about 22 minutes, it went up from 28% to 48% and cost us about $8. In terms of speed, this is a lot slower than Electrify America. That's for sure. Which is still not bad because, you know, if you come here for, uh, for lunch, you know, you'll be here for at least an hour. And that's enough to get you to like at least 70, 80%. Now, I will say is, in terms of the app interface, the app interface of EVgo is really, really good. Okay, it's 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 constantly giving you updates and you know how energy is delivered and how long you have charged. Yeah, so which one is better? Uh, we're gonna tell you. So now you've seen all the comparisons. So this was an interesting day trying to charge our Polestar 2. We drove over 200 some miles just to give you an idea of what it's like to charging with different charging stations. You see, I'm a first time EV owner. What I prioritize as far as any EV charging station is reliability and speed, okay? So you had to be reliable. It means you had to go there, you had to be able to charge whenever you wanted to, right? Factor you had to consider is how easy and intuitive it is to use these chargers. A lot of thing with these stations is that you kind of have to readjust how you park. Another good thing about having multiple plugs is that you can park however you want. There's still times where, you know, if the other cars use the other plugs, you can use the plug that's closest to you. So that's an issue, but with Electric Fire America, they give you multiple options of how to park your car and how to plug it in. In terms of reliability, I honestly, I think both are, are the same. Previously, we interviewed a lot of EV owners on both of these stations, and every time you go to any of those stations, just talk to the people around there, they will tell you, yeah, these things, they have problems all the time. But if they work, they work really well. I feel like for reliability, that's the same. Now, in terms of for ease of use, I think both is pretty much the same. They all have their own little issues here and there. So it depends on what you prefer. So how do we decide which one is better? Okay, so we're gonna be as objective as we can get. In terms of who is better, that's definitely Electrify America. In just 20 minutes, we charge up over 40% compared to EVgo, which is 20%, all right? In terms of the cost, with the EVgo, anytime you charge, you have to pay a 99 cent session fee. And after that, it's 
34 cents per kilowatt hours. Electric of America, it's just 48 cents per kilowatt hours, okay? Now, that might not be matter for a lot of you because a lot of you, you just wanna charge. You just wanna charge and get out and go, all right? So if that's the case, I'll say Electric of America is way better. If you look at the fact that 20 minutes, you charge up 40%, it costs us $17. Now with EVgo, it only costs $8, but you only went up 20%. If you think about that, you know, really, at the end of the day, the cost doesn't really matter. You get out there in 20 minutes and go, go on with your life, okay? You have so many other things to worry about. Okay, you own a freaking electric car, okay? $7 is not that big of a deal. In terms of that, we know Electrify America, at least for our comparisons, in terms of what happened today, we decided, we determined that Electrify America is the best. Now, we know you have your own different experience. Everybody has their own different experiences with these charges. They're very finicky, they're very hard to please. So, please let us know in the comment which one you had the best experience with and which one you would prefer. As always, this is Faco Media. I'll see you on the next one.